Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and I make lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about my very first IKEA experience and some of my favorite items that I purchased while I was there. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience and what I thought about IKEA, but I also have some vlog footage to share with you all from my actual experience. So we'll go into that and then I will give you all kind of like my rundown and my thoughts afterwards. Okay guys, we're in Ikea. Mom Smalls. Look in there. Where is it? Where? We have no idea what we're doing. So we're gonna find stuff. Alright. So I bet that's where you get your buggy. This is a flower I do too. You really like those. This is pretty cool. Is that what it is for the whole thing? Yeah, look. Complete. It is quartz countertop. $25,000. Mm -hmm. It's only $1,000 a month, Rachel. Really? Um, look at this sink for $200. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture for <laughs> Wow, we're making our way through it. Hannah's a little wanting to go faster. Oh, mom, look, they have a. Did you get this one with all the kitchens in it? Did I get you one? Yeah. I don't. I have a. I want that. No, oh, yeah, I do. Shoes. Those are probably shoes. Four ninety nine. We're getting a little excited here. Four ninety nine. We Where's made it to the marketplace one? section. Is this it? What? Yeah, that looks skinnier, doesn't it? No. I got me a bunch of pillows. Yes. Here's all the inserts. That's not all mine. Do you think we'll be able to fit my chairs in the car? I think I'm gonna get two dining chairs still. Huh? Where? Oh, the white one? So here's my first Ikea haul. Turns out I have a lot more than mom does. All right, so that was a little bit of our experience for our very first time in Ikea. It was me, my sister, and my mom. It was all of our very first time, and we really enjoyed it. So I kind of knew that Ikea was kind of like daunting. Like I had heard that and how it was so long, and it was like a maze to go through and all this kind of stuff, but there were just a few products that I really, really wanted, and I was ready for the challenge. I was ready to go, and so when we initially got there, it was kind of like a fluster, and I did not vlog this part because we did not know what to do. So we walk in the door and there's like these random looking cart things and we realized after we watched like a few people that you put the bag inside of that. Um, but then your carts were somewhere else. So it was kind of confusing for my first time walking in and not knowing where to get the actual buggy and then to go on the elevator to go upstairs to like the floor. Um, and then after we went to like the showroom floor, which you can go around and like look at all the furniture, which is a lot of what I showed you all. Um, then you like go back down or somehow and you go to the marketplace. So I don't know if all Ikea's are set up the same, but this is the one that we went to. And so we just did not know how to get a cart and how to get the cart upstairs. <laughs> Obviously we realized there was an elevator once we were up there, so... We figured that out, but I will say it was a little confusing first walking in. So my first impressions of the actual furniture and stuff is that there were some pieces that I was shocked how nice they really were, especially like some of the couches and the chairs and um, like the kitchen cabinets and the countertops and all that kind of stuff. Like I just thought that stuff was super nice. Some of the furniture, like some of like the TV consoles and stuff like that, I think did look a little bit cheap and you could tell like, I don't know. I think it's just all about what you want. And so what, and also what you want to last a long time versus what you want to invest in. The marketplace was really cool. I think that there were so many things that you could use like in your, in your home accessories and actual like, you know, kitchen stuff that would be super helpful they were pretty affordable and I think it's a great way to accessorize your home 
without spending so much money and you know i just think they have some really good good options one of my favorites was all of these pillows so i got quite a few um i forget the name of it it might actually does it have it on there so this is the 20 by 20 girly um pillowcase and I'll have all of these products linked below of course like I did in my tour video which if you want to see my entire space and how I styled everything I did a living room and dining room tour and I'll have that link down below but these are some of the products that I really like so I got this pillowcase it's a 20 by 20 and I love this because it kind of contrasts with my couch which is a little bit more of like a creamer tannish mixed with a gray of a couch versus like a really brighter creamy white and so i think that this matches really good um at first i bought the pillow inserts as well and they're just like the cheaper ones that they had they had another kind that was like a down feather that was a little bit more thicker but i just got the cheapest one um because i bought so many of them and at first i was like okay like that is a wimpy looking pillow but i actually really like it because you all know i like to karate chop my pillows <laughs> and it actually looks really good um kind of like chopped like that like it still looks full so i actually really like those so i got this the girly cream one i also got a gray velvet one and I got these big um, black ones. And I forget the name of these. Let me see. I can just tell y'all. The Aina? I don't know if that's how you say it. It's A-I-N-A. -A, and this is the 26 by 26 pillow. So I really like that. The reason why I got these. Okay. A, I like black. I think it's classic and timeless. But also because it's a 26 by 26. So when you put that in the back here. It adds, it contrasts with the couch, but then you can also have like the 20 by 20 in front of it and it's a good layering piece. And then I have an even smaller one in front of that. So I really like how it looks. Um, again, the inserts for that weren't super floppy or anything, but it does give it that more relaxed vibe, which I really like. I think that my style is very traditional, but still chic and a little formal, but I also like it to be cozy. And so I think like having more relaxed pieces really helps blend all of that together. So I really love the throw pillows. I think it's a super simple and easy way to accessorize your space. And it's also so affordable. So they had a ton of great options for pillowcases, which I really appreciated. This shelf, oh my goodness, I love it. It's actually two shelves. They're like $12 each. Um, I love that shelf. I love the look that it gives when you put like artwork and stuff on it versus like hanging the artwork. I just think it's a really cool modern type of look um, that really makes this space look a little bit more chic. And then adding vintage pieces like the candlesticks and the frame above me, I just think it makes it, it balances it out so well. And that's really just how I feel like my style is and the things that I love. Another favorite are my dining chairs. Oh my gosh. So I, this was the main item that I went to Ikea for was for these dining chairs. I had seen them online and I had been doing tons of research at a bunch of different places for slip covered dining chairs because I just love that look for my home and I found those and I actually went to buy them online and the shipping to get them here was more expensive than the actual chairs themselves so obviously I knew I needed to go to Ikea and get them and so luckily it's not too far away from some family members um, we just went by there as we were with our family so the dining chairs I just love I love that they're slip covered and that you can take them off and you can wash them or if they get like really badly stained, I can just order new ones and I don't have to buy the whole chair. And so that was really cool. And if I ever don't like the cream look or anything like that, which I don't think I'll ever not like it, um, they have like gray options and different other options I could switch it up with. So other than that, I got like some containers to put in my pantry for my cereal. And that was just really nice that they had a ton of options when it comes to kitchen storage. And it was super affordable. 
And I don't know, I feel like if I lived in a city close to an Ikea and I had just moved there or I just got an apartment, like it would be so cool to go to Ikea and just get all the affordable things you need, especially like if I was in college or something like that, like that would be so handy. So I definitely think that they have some great things and great options for a lot of different reasons. I think some things that are still on my list that I might would go back for are um, like an office desk, maybe like some chairs, or um, they have some nice couches. And I have read that they hold up pretty good. Um, I would contemplate getting another like love seat or something like that. They also had, they had this wicker chair that I really wanna get. And it was so nice for like the price. So those are some things that are still on my wish list that I might go back and get. I cannot wait to go back and just shop around. I will say, it is pretty daunting. It is a lot of walking. It is a, if you go through the whole, um, like upstairs, like if you really want to look at everything like we did, it just takes a long time. So make sure you take some snacks with you and, um, be prepared to get worn out. <laughs> so that's just my honest opinions, but it was definitely fun. And I love that they just have affordable options. Um, especially if you're in like you just bought a house and you want to like accessorize a place but you just can't afford it all at one time I think it's a great way to just accessorize it and it's definitely stuff you could switch out later if you want more high quality items or something like that but it definitely helps while you're in that middle period of like you can't really buy expensive things but you hate that your house looks empty <laughs> so I don't know those are just some of my thoughts I hope that you all enjoyed looking at the products that I um, purchased and that I really and truly love. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check me out on Instagram where I share how I style a lot of these pieces at Rachel McLaughlin. So again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.